There we go. Hi, cutie bursties. Okay, the name bursties, though, that Carly came up with. If I was a cute streamer, that would be the best name ever. The bursties? Are you kidding me? That's such a good fucking name. Not gassing you up, you bald bitch. Are we allowed to compliment your looks with uncomfortable honesty? I mean, I've had someone say they've had a dream of me sucking on their titties. I can handle anything. <laughs> that was me. What? I said this yesterday. I, I it was literally in my first year of streaming. One of one of the viewers, they said I looked sad, so they told me that they had a dream that I was sucking on their titty to try to make me feel better. I don't think I was sad. I think I was just tired from a 10-hour day at work, but it made me laugh. It was a female viewer. They actually ended up becoming a streamer themselves, and they're actually very talented. And they have their own song out. They are awesome. They are a very good egg. I have raided them quite a few times as well. She is awesome. Hey, they're the ones that said it in chat. I think it's just funny. Really nailing it down there? I don't care if you guys know. It's literally a funny thing that happened nine years ago. <laughs> eight and eight years ago. Saying it in chat. I respected the in chat. Are you kidding me? Do you think they cringe every time you bring up the story? Considering they don't really watch me that much anymore, to my knowledge. Probably not. They probably don't even use Twitch that much anymore. I haven't seen them stream in a while. Also, hey, Kayvon. Kayvon, at this rate, we might get marbles done to- We might get a marbles race tomorrow. If I do a double chapter in Paper Mario tonight, we might get marbles tomorrow. Alright, let's go find the lost children. As long as it's after 2.30, you can make it. Well, after this chapter, we have two more chapters left, and then Bowser. Hey, if it's a freaking fry, if it's a nighttime marbles race, nighttime streams are much less crowded than morning streams. So if it's a nighttime marbles race, that's your best chance to win. When is Lethal Company Part 2 so I can leave early again? <laughs> you guys want to play more Lethal Company? And then we have a sponsorship on a sponsorship on Saturday. I need that we're doing. Saturday sponsor. Yuck, cute. That's not an emote, to my knowledge. Is yuck, cute an emote? I don't see it. You love to play that with burn community. Last time we played, we had a eight 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 chat game going. Game nerd just added it. Oh, it didn't go for me. I don't see it. Maybe I'll refresh the chat. My 7 TV must be dead. All right, someone type it now. Let me see if I can see this thing. I see yuck snapped. Oh, 
Oh, I still don't see it. I'll never know what it looks like. Well, at least I can squirt. Squirt. Wait, maybe I can see it in, uh, I do have Twitch open still. I still don't see it. Okay, wait, I'm refreshing my Twitch thing. Man, I still don't see it. Man, my 7 TV is dead. Okay, whatever. I'll just take your word that it's- it has- it has the approval, so... It's got Kayvon's approval. You also don't see it? That does make me feel a little bit better. I'm not the only one feeling left out. God damn! Let's just send a star storm down on them. You see, it's as easy as pie. All you have to do is send uh, pain and suffering to your enemies, and you can win. upgrade sushi now I think with sushi I can go down to the sewers a little bit more and get a better hammer than this one. Oh, I know we get a better we get a better jump in the sewers I get a better hammer in this next level I also always get lost in this area because it's so easy to get lost here. It's so easy. What the fuck? Ooh la la. So pretty. Hey, that's still 69 bits. I got... Should I be trying to get new bid emotes? No, bid emotes, bid alerts. We already have the best bid emotes. Sleepy waste of money at 600,000 bits. But for some reason, if you type it, you can see it in the goddamn chat window. Bitch alert? What the fuck? Taught you manners. You're a bitch. Damn. On my birthday as well, in four months. Happy birthday in four months, thanks. Happy early birthday in four months, thanks. It's pretty crazy that I've lived another year on Earth. Same Earth as you guys. Two third birthday, thanks. What emote is five grand sleepy gold for? Sleepy waste of money is six grand.
God damn, man. Today is VIP K Panda's birthday. That's every day. What's up, Gamer Pro? You woke up with gum in your hair? What? How? How's that even happen? What up, Frank? New YouTube subscriber. How you doing? Hey. New YouTube subscriber. Yeah, come may be easier to clean out. How many kids do I need to save? Is it five? Might be five. Cooling today like usual? Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I don't think I ever want to read that message again. What happened in this chat? We go from everyone calling each other cute to this. You were chewing gum last night and then woke up with it in your hair. Why didn't you spit your gum out before going to bed? Why the Yoshi's panicking? Oh, this guy ain't panicking. He says, fuck them kids. Knocked out? Well, then you probably should have spit that gum out before you knocked out if you knew you were tired. Like last night, I was making dinner at 8.30 and I was feeling good. 30 minutes later at 9 o'clock, I'm dead tired and I'm like, oh, it's time for bed. <laughs> Ever just happened to any of you? You're just, you're, you're, you're living your nightlife pretty good. And then next thing you know, you're dead tired. 10.30 came around, I was done. Or not 10.30, 9.30 came around, I was done. 30 years old, man. Listen, I live very busy days. I, I'm i very busy every day. I wake up, I stream for three hours, I sometimes will work out, I gotta cook food, I'll do some YouTube Let's Play stuff sometimes, I gotta edit videos, then I gotta stream for three more hours, then I gotta cook dinner. Is this a streaming is easy? Oh, it is. You had an MRI today and fell asleep in the machine. What? It's easy, but exhausting. But it's still easy. Like, in terms of content creation, streaming is by far the easiest thing in content creation. Lie still for an hour. I hope the results were good regardless. Oh god, I don't know where all these fucking kids are. You can literally do it in your stream. Sleep. Stream. Stream in your sleep. I mean, yeah. If you do a subathon, you fall asleep getting a haircut. What the fuck? How? I chew gum in my s It's soothing? What? Streaming is, is the easiest thing I do content-wise, and it's the thing I want to do the least. You'd much rather make videos 
But you do agree it's the easiest, right? I can't remember how to do this. No, I gotta get up there. You're wrapped in that cloth in a chair as the barber gently cuts your hair. Can't remember what I need to do exactly with this. I know I need to get up there somehow. Y'all look crazy with where you sleep. Super awkward Gen Z kid, no shot you could fall asleep. Made him super awkward. You've dozed off in the dentist chair before? They got a massage chair and the lead apron was so nice. What the? Your dentist got a massage chair? Do I have to do something with this? Yeah, wouldn't it be really awkward if you fell asleep at the dentist and you woke up with a cock on your face, drawn on your face? You're like, huh, I wonder who did that. It's like that Seinfeld episode where Jerry's waking up after the dentist to see uh, his dentist, who's played by uh, Brian Cranston, like, buckling his belt and the assistant's, like, getting ready. Then he's like, Elaine, I think my dentist did something to me. And then Elaine does her Elaine thing of, like, no. It's like that Seinfeld episode. <laughs> You guys, I act like I'm some old fucking boomer. I act like it? Fire Dragon says I have an old soul. All because I listen to 70s music and 60s. I'm 33 and your sleeping pattern makes me feel like I'm 20. Well, I go to bed at 10.30 and I wake up at 6.30. So I'm depressed? No. I'm actually quite happy with my life. That's just a nice way of saying you're old as fuck. All dilbs born in the spring of 97 are the same. <laughs> So it's a skill issue. I knew it. Are you happy that I'm here? Yeah. I like to think I'm the happiest I've been. I live in a nice apartment. I have two hobos living with me. I got a great partner. And my job is the dream job that I could ever want. What's there to be sad about? What's there to be sad about? Oh, my numbers aren't that good. Well, fucking work. Get those numbers up. Kim Cho? Who the hell's Kim? Wait, did we save all the kids? Let's get one of those hobos to cook and clean. Cat's gotten better at cooking. And she does most of the cleaning. She usually vacuums the floors and, like, wipes them down, which is the annoying thing. I hate cleaning the floors. I 
I'm missing green. I do miss green, but she's on vacation. <laughs> floors are so easy. I hate sweeping them. I don't mind fucking mopping floors. Because I have my Swiffer Sweeper. Or my Swiffer Mopper, I guess. I need a sweeper. I got a broom for that. Green isn't coming back, please. Shit, I am missing one. God, I don't know how to get there. I always forget how to get there. I do want green back. Who else am I going to give my money to for thumbnails? Cat? This is true. She's actually working on a thumbnail for me right now. Hopefully she didn't forget about it. Because I said I needed it by Saturday. And today is... Thursday. The gum fell out of your hair? Nice. Now you got some gum to chew on. Congrats. What flavor, please? After two chews, every gum flavor just turns into bland. Gum doesn't have flavor after chewing it for two seconds. You ever chew tried in, tried in layers and then it's good for five seconds and then it's not good anymore? Your gum has had flavor for the last three hours? Yo, what, time, what, yo, what the fuck kind of gum do you have? Have I tried chewing better gum? I don't even know how to respond to that question. That, that, that. Isn't it something up there I have to do? I have to get up there, but how the fuck do I get up there again? Do I just make me maybe ground pound? No, it's not ground pound. Oh yeah, it's ZR. You never blow a bubble from gum? I don't know how to blow a bubble from gum. Hi, what's up? My name is Dylan, and I'm... F stupid. Can I whistle? Yes. Whistling is very easy for me. He got the double kissy off. What up, Zace? How are you doing? Oh, shit. I didn't kill any of them. Okay. One kiss, one kiss. Oh! Did you miss Shy Guy's toy box? I feel like you know the answer to that question. Just in case you actually do not know, 
the order of the chapters because you have not played. Uh, yes. Shy Guy's Toy Box was last chapter. Has that music always been there? I've played this game like 10 times. Has that music always been there when you find all the Yoshis? Wait a minute, what? Guess you're watching on my YouTube. It'll be up in about six days probably on YouTube. But don't worry, you can find everything on YouTube. That music's always been there? Fucking hell, I've never... <laughs> Shit, I might make that as an alert. That's some nice music. I already have two alerts that are related to this game. I have my tier 2 sub alert for subs that are tier 2, and then I have the hype train alert. My other one, not hyped for Mario and the Thousand Year Door coming to Switch. Has anyone played that game? It doesn't look that fun. What's up, Pitch Dark Helium? Uh, I have played that game on GameCube, and I will say I like the first one more, but I do think it is a good game in its own regard. Saying that, though, I'm not really excited for it coming to Switch because I don't really care. I got no need to play it again. No desire to play it again, either. I I do think it's a good game, but I'm not excited it's coming. I think it's cool, but, you know, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. No hype, because I don't care about the Mario RPGs, but I can look at it and tell it's a good game. Oh, it's most definitely a, gr a very good game. I can understand why people say it's their favorite Paper Mario. But I hope people can understand why I say this is my favorite Paper Mario as well. But you know, it's freaking 30 hour Mario game. It's not bad. What's up, Robin? Good morning. How are you doing? You'd be excited if it was the first one getting the treatment? I would be more excited if it was the first one getting the treatment, but I still probably wouldn't buy it because I had... Uh, I already have it on the Nintendo 64. You know what you should be hyped for? The Burr Awards? Yeah, there's still 58 votes on the Burr Awards. Last year, we had like 120 votes in the Burr Awards. This year, we got 58. But hey, don't matter how many votes there are. Your vote counts. Busy day at work so far? Oh no, I'm sorry. How dare they? How dare they? Who's that fat fuck? Would you play it in HD than 3.5 standard definition? I wouldn't care, to be honest. The game, Even the game looking like this, I think it looks pretty good. You love vacation? You have vacation, Brian? <laughs> Let's go, Brian. Vacation brain? How much longer? Just today and tomorrow or just today? What's up, Tatsu Bear? How are you doing? Starts tomorrow until the second. Ooh! Damn, Yoshi, you rubbing one out? <laughs> What's up, Fane? <laughs> damn, Yoshi! Just a little... Whoo, whoo. God damn! Fucking... God damn. But yeah, remakes are cool. It, the great thing about remakes is it lets a lot of people who never experienced the game get to play the game for the first time on modern har modern hardware because it's hard for it's hard to play older games, especially GameCube. So I think all the remakes in the world, I'll buy some of them, like Resident Evil. Yoshi doing what? He was also hey Ninja Squirtle. Like Metroid Prime Remastered, even though I have all the Metroid Prime games, 
being able to play it on Switch was a lot more convenient because my GameCube sucks ass. Pikmin 1 and 2 games? Yeah, I have all the Pikmin games, but I think it's really cool that they made remakes for them. And they're only like 40 bucks for Pikmin 1 and 2. Fucking great deal. Starts tomorrow until the 2nd. Any fun plans? Backlog gaming? Since you're all going on vacation, you guys any backlogs on your games or your reading or whatever you want to do? Spending time with family, friends, no one, because you hate people? Getting ready to play games with me on Christmas because you don't do anything for Christmas because maybe you don't celebrate Christmas? I don't really celebrate Christmas, so I will be here. As once I got into like my teenage years, I kind of stopped celebrating holidays as a whole. My family kind of did. So I kind of just have never really done anything for it. You finished a book last night? Good job. What book? You're going to hide on Christmas Day to avoid your brothers and his kids? You don't want to hang out with your nephew? I can't wait to be an uncle. I'll be an uncle one day. Whether... Whether it's my brother accidentally knocking somebody up or my other brother starting his family. Mom's in New York and spending the week there and going to Connecticut on the 30th or 31st and spending a week with your son and grandson. Oh, I hope you have a great time, Lodima. I hope it is everything you could love. Your nephew and niece are getting a Switch this Christmas, so I'm excited about being the cool uncle who has all the cool games and can beat them at Mario Kart. I'm with you on that one. Hey, Spunky. How are you doing? Nice Paper Mario playthrough. Yep, every year I gotta play through this game. Every year we gotta play through it. Can you say hi to your girlfriend for me, game nerd? Damn, game nerd. You have to meet your girlfriend's family on Crimbo? How long have you two been together, if you don't mind me asking, before you met her family? Me and Kat dated for like three months before she met my mom, and then... It's about four months until I met hers. And now I know what you're thinking. What about the dads? Don't worry about the dads. Don't worry about our dads. Can I do the thousand year door? Mm. Maybe when it maybe when the remake comes out on Switch, but that's a big maybe in my book. You would meet Andy's parents for the first time in under a week. Ooh, are you excited, Koala? You guys have been dating for like uh, like six months, right? Something like that? I, I honestly don't know. It's impossible for me to keep up with other people's relationships. You guys have been dating for a little bit, though. Football is going well. Met her mom, dad, and sister, but like they're all coming around. Damn, game man, you gotta meet. Oh man, you gotta meet the whole funky bunch. When does Chad open their presents? Eve or day? Cat opens her presents whenever she gets them. <laughs> she opened Dragon Link's present. Last night she opened Dragon Link's present. And the day that the present I got her showed up in the mail, she opened it. Cat's like, I ain't fucking waiting. You guys get presents? No. I got one thing from Dragon Link that I didn't ask to get anything from, and I got one thing from Cat. And then I got a card from my grandparents, and I got cookies from my mom. That's everything I got. I don't get anything else. Oh yeah, Lodima also bought me a hard drive on Throne, because I have a Throne. Lodima bought me a hard drive and said Merry Christmas. Lodima, that hard drive is already being very useful, so thank you again. Ugh, God, I wish you could just fucking squirt on all of them. Should even wait till Christmas? We don't even have a tree. So, no. Our, our apartment is not Christmasified at all.
Go buy a tiny one. I thought about buying a tiny one and putting it in the stream room, but then I was like, why the fuck would I do that? Nobody would see it. <laughs> like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Thanks for lurking, devil. Enjoy your house. That must be a very good feeling. Green screens are lame? I disagree. I like having a green screen. We got a wall tree. Is that like a freaking sticker you put on your wall? Because we have a fake tree, but they just chewed it. So I was like, okay, whatever. Do I want a non-stick pan? I always need a non-stick pan. Oh, my e-bill is ready for my internet and cable. Cool. Everything that's on throne, I need in my life. But it's not a giant necessity. Green screens are good. All right, let's see. You guys can be the judge if I have a cool background. It's a little bit messy. You guys can be the judge of my background. It's all right. I mean, I don't put too much effort into it. I just put my games there. You can't even see the Doom helmet, which is like the best part of it. I had that Doom... You know that Doom helmet? I had it for 10 months and didn't tell anybody about it because I wanted it to be a surprise when I did a Doom cosplay. Hopefully it was a surprise. Ugh. I didn't even tell my mods about it. I don't usually tell my mods everything. Like, my mods, they know the sponsorship on Saturday. Just like you thought my background broke? Nah. I actually have a room, though. Dressing as slutty Doom Guy was definitely a surprise. I wasn't slutty Doom Guy. I was just Doom Guy. You can tell me what mob... Mod saying what Burr got sponsored on. Do you really want to know, A1? I already have given you enough hints. You only got one hint? Yeah, it was a good hint. Genshin? I told you it was a game that I've played. Have I ever played Genshin? The answer is yes, I have played Genshin. What was the hint? It's a game that I've played. But that's not really the best of hints because I've played a hundred games. Tiny Rogues? Maybe. Paper Mario? Maybe. Yes or no, is it a game that you don't hate? If I hated the game, I wouldn't get sponsored for it. Played for how long? An hour? I'm not telling you how long I've played it. Whoa, they got toes. Dong and Rampa? Maybe. So you love the game? Maybe. Snap? Maybe. Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jespin? Maybe. This is why Burr won't be buying a remaster of Paper Mario. It's already been gifted in the sponsorship. Maybe. Yeah, me and Nintendo working together. You know, I'm a big Nintendo fan. My one Nintendo game I've played in the past two months. Stop saying maybe, please. Tears of the Kingdom sponsored stream? Maybe.
I have played it for six hours. Mario Kart when? Christmas. If we have enough people. You don't have Mario Kart. Damn. F. I think there'll be a health thing in there so we can go. Why rare a reindeer hat? I do not own a reindeer hat, so no. I don't even own a Santa hat, I don't think. Maybe I do. I might have a Santa hat around here somewhere. I think I wore a Santa hat last year on Christmas. Don't know where it is, though. Once you move, you kind of lose track of some things. Like, when you move, you kind of lose track of stuff that's not really as important, and it's just kind of hiding about somewhere in your place. That's me with that Santa hat. I think I have one. I can't even remember what I did last year on stream. I think I got drunk and played Mario Party. Do you have unpacked boxes still? There's a couple scattered about. The stuff that's most important is unpacked, though. Squirt! I love you, bird. Sleepy Kevin. Saturn's Bunny, thanks for the tier one for 33 months. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for the continued support. I didn't lose you guys in the move. Thank God. Thank God. You're at work and you're exhausted. <laughs> Give me that spike shield, just in case. Ah! You worked 14 hours yesterday. How do y'all work so fucking much? I swear y'all doing like 12 hour shifts every day. What up, Waffles? How are you doing? Got a squirt. I good, how are you, streamer? I good as well. I'm good as well. Playing through that good old Paper Mario, you know? That good old Paper Mario. I got you addicted to Snap, so that's fun. Yo, my bad. Bye, B. Are you ever too old to hug your mother? No. You're never too old to hug anybody. Unless it's a child that you don't know, then you're old. You're too old. The second you 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 exist.
always hug your mama. Unless you don't have a good relationship with her. Then, yo. You don't have a mum anymore. You have one in your heart. My condolences. Sometimes life... Sometimes life sucks. And sadly, it had to suck for you at some point. But you're going strong still, and that's what matters. It's your mom's first Mario game? It's... <laughs> It's the best Mario game you could play. Life. Ah, uh, life. Life is so life, you know. The inner mechanisms of my mind are an enigma. I think I can take him. Oh. I think I can still take him. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. Whew! Made that by a hair. The tier two sub sound. Mikey, easily the best TMNT. Let's go, Mikey. Damn, I only got maple syrup. Sounds right for someone that lives in Canada. Fuck! Overwatch days were full of cutesy talk, and so was Animal Crossing. I don't engage in that. I still don't see Yuck Cute. Dumpy Thursday? Yo, tier 2 subs. Or tier 3 subs. Where you at? Fire shield. Damn, it costs two. Get rid of smash charge then. You're an animal card cross. Animal crossing card collector? What do the cards even do? Don't they just get you the character in game?
Fuck. You haven't checked your village in quite a while? Yeah, me too, don't worry. Animal Crossing was an interesting time in this stream. I don't even know where my Animal Crossing game is. Probably searching for bear. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they're probably just sitting there doing nothing because they're pixels that don't exist. <laughs> Pardon me. The dumper emote is a tier 2 and tier 3 one. There's one on 7 TV, but if you want to use it everywhere, you have to be tier 2 to 3. Oh yeah, never mind. Game Nerd got rid of it on 7 TV because we're smart. You actually have to give me money if you want to dump. That my buddy emote got reported? Nah, that was my finger emote. You a fucking narc? No, just making sure. <laughs> Can't have no narcs here. If one of my emotes gets taken down because of y'all, you're all be on thin ice. Twitch does take down a lot of buddy emotes, but they've never taken down a buddy emote of mine. They only took down my finger emote. Because somebody was a narc. Somebody tattled on me. No more sleepy finger? Nah, no, sleepy finger's still here, don't worry. It got taken down two years ago. And then I had to get sheep put a blur over it. And now it has a blur on it. And ever since that blur happened, it hasn't been taken down. So it's safe to say I uh, beat the system. Don't jinx it, I know, right? I think I can take him. Oh my god. Please kill at least two of them. Fuck. Your son's name is Otto? Otto? That's a nice name. It's like a far- It's like a farmer's name. Otto? No, Otto. Otto. Not Otto. Uh, my son's name is Otto, which is short for automobile. First car's name was Otto. My sister in law named my car, but I can't remember what she named it. Fuck! 
I ain't getting lucky twice. I thought the fire flower would kill them. Skill issue? Hey, I'm not that good. I suck? Yeah, I don't. Didn't lose that much time, though. Don't worry. Carl! Did I get the orb for sushi again? Oh, they got two orbs. Fuck. Tidal wave. My diamond YouTube play button. That is a very, very far away dream. I almost have 9,000 subscribers. Diamond play button is 10 million subs. Gold play button is 1 million. Silver play button is 100,000, last I checked. I'm at nowhere near that. Nine percent to silver isn't bad. Eh, almost nine percent to silver. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Maybe I should go back and heal somewhere. Me and my 20 health. Man, I do not remember getting this fucked in the last game. I must have had like a defense up attack down badge or something last time I played. There is, but I'm just missing. It's different on every enemy, so... I'm trying to not fight right now because I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh my god. I have 378 coins. I think I'll be fine. Without a few more. The new job site is much clearer. Your current one has mold. Well, it ain't your current one. It's your old one. Mold sounds like a safety hazard. Should probably report it.
Oh, Sushi's dead. And Colorado almost got me killed for standing in the way. Good luck, Mrs. Pirate. Good luck. Is it boss time? I need to get some badges. Maybe I should go to the star summit and get some badges after this. Thank you, game, for not registering my input, I guess. Okay. Whatever, three damage ain't horrible, I guess. Dude, the frames are fucking dying so badly. <laughs> Makes it impossible to try to freaking react and time these. Oh my god. How well this game holds up. Story-wise, yes, it's an incredible game. Uh, graphics right now, the frame rate is dying. But I do agree, this game is incredible. I gotta refresh. You shaved? Nice. I did? I did. There we go. I think I'm gonna get that water block on again. I'm always low HP. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. But I'm getting the blocks. Dora, we got sushi squirting on him. Why do you have a George Costanza emote? <laughs> Same reason you have a Kevin James emote. I guess that makes sense.
Colorado to the rescue, baby! Yep, useless Colorado. I don't think we need that water effect anymore. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear, the camera's here. Uh-oh. 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 Sushi, we only have one more tidal wave. Better make it a good one. Drink! Oh, is it have? Is it has? Shit. Just have more maple syrup. I can buy it. I have a ton of money. Used to be so good with the tidal wave inputs as a kid. I was never good at them. And even now. Yo, we stun locked him into oblivion and we won. All you have to do is stun lock him to win. What's up, Diggity Dan? Woo wee, Baba! This card, this will be useful because I'm taking so much damn damage. Nice head. Thank you. I know. It looks like an egg. End of chapter. Wow. Now we have to do some peachness. Oh, nope, not peach yet. Damn, you did two chapters. Yup. Yep. Right, what do you say fuck me for? Fabulous underscore Spunky gifted a tier one sub to Diggityed 4N. They have given 63 gifts. Spunky, in thanks the for gifting a sub to Diggity 4N. <laughs> I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the continued support, Spunky. Thank you. Dan, enjoy the emotes. New TTS voice? No. Should be the same one. I have different TTS for bits and, uh, subs. Bombette saving the day as always. Have I played the RPG remake yet? I have not. I still have one more voucher, so I could get it for free with my voucher. How many chapters are in Paper Mario? I think eight. You get the prologue, then you get the seven star spirits, then you have Bowser's chapter. 
Yeah, I hear it's probably like a 15 hour playthrough. 15, 20 hours. I think this one's the game show. Pikmin 4 is 100% worth it, Nalid. One of the best games of the year. Liza P game of the year? You're not the only person I've heard say that, actually. Are there any big 2024 releases planned for the Switch? There's Thousand Year Door Remake and Princess Peach Showtime. I think those are the big games right now. All right, let's play. Koopa Corpse presents the 64th Trivia Quiz Off. I am your host, Mr. Hammer. Let's get right to it. Hey, I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and the contestant who gets the most right will be our winner. Press A when you think you know the answer. Okay, folks, the winner will get a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, and I got to tell you, we're also giving prizes just for participating, so everybody will be a winner. That's just the kind of show we are. Ready? Question one. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano on Lava Lava Island? All right, Princess Peach. The answer is Lava Piranha. Let's go on to the next question. Question two. Where did Master Huffin... Oh, I didn't even get to do that. In Flower Fields. Next, question three. What is the name of this, the monster in Dry Dry Ruins? A chomp. How would you get to flower flower fields? You pass the flower gate. You don't pray, you don't cry, you pass the flower gate. Anyone's game? Question five. What's the name of the person who King Bowser really loves? Princess Peach. Mario, it's Princess Peach. That's correct. Careful now. Question six. What was the most the deeply thing in flower fields? Flowers, that's correct. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Next question is an easy one, folks. Question seven. What's the name of the most admirable, imaginable guy around? All right, Princess Peach, what do we say? It's Bowser, correct. We're unstoppable. Princess Peach is on her own. Think carefully now. Question eight. What's the name of the ghost who living around in flower fields? All right, Princess Peach, you got the board. These... Tubba Blubba. Oh, no, it was Booze, the ghost. Oh, no, it's not Tubba Blubba. Question nine. What's the name of the area just south of Toad Town? South of Toad Town, we have the Flower Garden. Number ten. Question ten. Where's Princess Peach's castle now? It's in your mother's ass. It's on Bowser's castle. Oh, Princess Peach wins. The guy on the right. Who the fuck is that guy? You cry before bed every night? Why? Alright, we gotta maybe do some more sewer stuff and go get some badges. I definitely have the star stuff for badges, or enough star pieces. Look how sad he looks. That looks like you guys when I stop streaming. Yep. 
Looks like me when I see Marvel Snap. That's me when you don't play Dong and Rampa. I've played two Dong and Rampas. You've had more than enough. We exist in the computer, not the mirror. We already made a vote that we're never going to play another Danganronpa game because two was enough. It was definitely a vote and everyone in Twitch chat, I said, if you're sick of Danganronpa and never want to see the third one get played because two was enough, press one. I saw a lot of ones when it happened. Everyone in chat hates Danganronpa. That's definitely not true. No V3? God, no. I was told it's even longer than the second one. I t genuinely don't want to do that. <laughs> I've already played through two of them. I feel that's fair. He wasn't there. I'm sorry. I feel playing through two Danganronpa games is enough. You got 70 hours of Danganronpa. What more do you need? How many subs you won't be able to persuade me with money? It's never enough, yeah, clearly. It's not that I didn't even dislike the first two games. It's just tiring and exhausting, and I don't want to do that right now. Maybe ask me in like four months. So what happens when you let chat pick what you play? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I played two of them, and I feel that was more than generous. Chat has picked some pretty good games. Like, we just played Roller Drome. That was a really fun game. And that was a chat pick marbles game. Not a fan of visuals and novels. I'm not a fan of playing visual novels so close to one another. Where the hell is this damn treasure? I played Danganronpa 1 in October, and then I started Danganronpa 2 at the end of November. That wasn't enough time in between, man. There it is. Audio novels. Well, I mean, the trials were the best part because they did most of the talking. Miss one stream and you're fucked. Yeah, and they're like, wait, what happened to that character? They died? It's like, yeah. It's like, dude, I had to go to a funeral. It's like, well, you shouldn't have missed Dong and Rampa. Your marble suggestion is gonna be Kong. The Rise of Skull Island, or the Return of Skull Island, the latest Kong game. The one that was notoriously known as the worst one of the worst games of the year. Gonna be as bad as Dong and Rampa. Or as long as Dong and Rampa. The biggest negative, like, here's the thing. I played Fallout 4, which was a Marvels game. I played that a little bit less than Danganronpa 2. But it didn't feel that way because fucking Danganronpa just makes me exhausted. Because I have to read for fucking 30 hours out of the 40. Who should just Robocop? I've already played Robocop. I just didn't play it on stream, nor is it on the YouTube Let's Play. 
I got Robocop early and had an embargo on it, and then I made a video on it. The video didn't do well, but that's fine. I did not play through the GTA 5 campaign. I started it on Xbox 360 when it first came out, when I was 16, and then I never... I never finished it. Castle Crashers? I played Castle Crashers on Xbox 360 Arcade back in the day. Next Marbles race is whenever we're done with Paper Mario and beat it. It'll be after that. And I'm aiming to have Paper Mario done Sunday. Hi, Petri. Good morning. I've heard good things about the Grand Theft Auto uh, campaign, or Grand Theft Auto 5 campaign. I want to go back and actually finish the GTA 5 campaign? You can do it. I believe in you. You bought the game and my ex wanted us to play online, then I didn't want to play it anymore. Oh, it has multiple endings in the Grand Theft Auto 5 campaign? That honestly makes sense. It's fucking Grand Theft Auto. It's Grand Theft Auto, so... I know everyone's super excited for Grand Theft Auto 6 in 2037. <laughs> ah! I have the spike shield on. Do I play Grand Theft Auto? Me? No. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto in years. Would I play Grand Theft Auto 5 if, let's say, Marbles won and said Grand Theft Auto 5? Yeah. Gift 600,000 subs on Twitch. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto's gifting 600,000 subs on Twitch to roleplay streamers. The Grand Theft Auto roleplay. 600,000 subs. How people can stream RP every day. Yeah, they just like it. To them, they love it. But I'm with you on that one. I find it to be quite boring. But to each their own, you know? Some people... They'd probably say the same thing about me streaming Paper Mario. It's like, oh, Paper Mario, that's boring. It's like, of course it is. You're not making a bunch of money. I feel like Grand Theft Auto roleplay has been like a huge thing for fucking ever now.
It's only getting bigger. Well, I mean, if Grand Theft Auto gifted 600,000 subs, I bet there's a lot of people trying to get in there for the first time to make some money. Bar underwear coming to the shop? Probably not. Ooh, peekaboo would be pretty good. I can't remember where to get... the ones I just bought. Peekaboo is one I just bought. And then I can, if I level up again, I can get pretty lucky. Oh, I'm not leveling up for a while, though. It was pretty good. I also feel like maybe it depends on the creator who you're watching for roleplay. I can imagine XQC would literally cause nothing but chaos because he's XQC, of course. But then again, I don't think anyone in here likes XQC. It was okay. Can I do an impression of XQC? Sure. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna need some water for this. What's going on, chat? What's going on today? What are we doing, Seth? Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. For some reason, this fish loves going out of the water. Oh yeah, 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 I, I, I do that too. I, I, I like to breathe. I, I, I like to breathe as well. Oh, this guy's crazy, man. I, I'd be so scared to do that. I, I'd be so scared. Chat, 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 chat. Give me a million dollars. That's sorry. That's the best I can do. That's my XQC impersonation. Hope you liked it. Oh yeah, I forgot to go take a shit while the video played, and then I would give my opinion on the said video, even though I have no knowledge of the video because I didn't watch it because I was too busy taking a shit. Thanks for the bit, Falcus. Pretty good, thank you. That impression wasn't very good. No, all he does is sit there and watch YouTube videos. Like a lot of content creators do. Which doesn't really qualify them as content creators in my book. You don't like reaction channels? That means you don't like a lot of Twitch. What the boober streamers have been up to lately? I did know Twitch changed their policy, but other than that, I didn't see what anyone was doing. I don't know what the meta is on Twitch right now, because I... The minute I stopped paying attention to what the meta was on Twitch, my life got a lot better.
wearing a sensor bad. Wait, the meta's black bars? Now I have you on a 50-inch TV and it makes it better. What up, devil? Let's go. So you wait, so people are standing there naked and just put black bars in front of their boobs and private parts? Are you telling me that's the Twitch meta right now? How do they control the bars if they move around? Ah, oh, man, I was- I wish I didn't know that. That's kind of pathetic. They don't move around? What the fuck do they do, then? Like, what do they stream? They are physically wearing them as well? <laughs> what? They sit in the chair, so you, they don't do anything. So Amaranth giving some kid relationship advice while sitting there naked with a sensor bar. People pay their money to just look at their cleavage. So sh Twitch is basically a strip club. Is what you're telling me. Except you don't get in the back for a private dance. Don't worry, that that'll be the next that'll be the next update. Nah, but Twitch has the discoverability devil. Twitch has the discoverability, and with that discoverability and little effort you put in of putting black bars on your boobies and not making any content because you don't have any talent, you could make a shit ton of money. So why go on a campsite where there's not much discoverability when you can just go on Twitch where there's fucking little degenerates everywhere? What discoverability? If you're naked in the goddamn just chatting section, you're getting viewers. You heard Burgle was doing a black bar stream soon? Don't get your hopes up. XQC's reacting to them. What a pathetic website. The 18 year old hacker who hacked Rockstar has been sentenced to life in a psych ward. What? Sadly, you're out of money right now. Then what's the point of watching those booby streamers? Life in a psychiatric ward? Ain't no way. For hacking Rockstar? I feel like that's a little extreme. He's macked... He's hacked multiple companies he's deemed dangerous to the public. God damn. People are crazy. Steam winter sale just started. Oh my god, should we browse the sale before we end stream? See if there's any games I want to buy. We definitely have to get marbles in when the Steam Winter Sale is on, because that means the winning game will probably be on sale that I can buy. <laughs> well, let's get the flower fields, then. The meta is exercising on stream very sensually. That's not exercising. <laughs> exercising does not need to look sensual and sexual. It's just fucking exercise. <laughs> Do I fucking hate it? Twitch, man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open the just chatting section after this. And I gotta see what this fucking meta is for science.
You gift me for it? I hope you win then. For science, for science. For science, for science. My, I, I have pants on, I, I promise. Steam awards are also up? Oh shit, okay. I'll go vote on everything. This DLC bonus 2486, definitely worth it. All right, can we all agree this is the worst chapter in the game? I know Devil will agree with me. This is the worst chapter in the game. Make burst stand. The stream's going to be over in 10 minutes, so I'm going to refund your points. Or a mod can refund your points, because the stream's going to be over in like 10 minutes. You like all chapters? All chapters are good and have their charm, but this is the worst one. YouTube, let's play, like, and subscribe. You got a long Paper Mario video.